Hello and welcome to Weleke TV on this beautiful day. My name is Ramsey and all kind of calls. This is outnumbered. We are reaching you live and direct from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Nigeria. And of course, um, I have Anthony Angokolo and Michael right here to join me on the newspaper review this morning. My name is Ramsey Enoch. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Good morning Ramsey. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Tony. Thank God you're smiling today. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> smiling. I'm always smiling. You're smiling hysterically today. What's the secret? Uh, it's God. The Lord is It's good. the glory of God. Hallelujah. It's the glory of God. I thought you receive a lot. That's why. <laughs> oh, is he only a lot that makes people smile? <laughs> smile. You know, the smile is different. It's no, no. In this economy, in this economy, it's there is this smile that comes with a lot. In this economy, you feel like all your problems have been solved. There's this, your, there's this, your breathing pattern will there's change. This, oh my god, please <laughs> let your alerts come. <laughs> all right, uh, thank you, viewers, for being there. Let's take you straight to the headlines that we have for the day, beginning from the Punch newspaper. Stress test on banks necessitated recapitalization. CBN stress test on banks necessitated recapitalization coming from the central bank of nigeria and details read on page 21 government also meets to avert strike in varsities details read on page two federal government banks begin talks on nationwide broadband rollouts details on page 21 still on the punch newspaper this morning 423 billion naira theft erufi Sue Kaduna Assembly challenges probe. You know, Erufai is a very smart man. You know, um, he is now suing the Assembly for saying he uh, needs to be shown the way on how they can recover their money back. That's Kaduna State Assembly. That's Kaduna State uh, Assembly. Yeah, not the National Assembly, Kaduna State Assembly. If you hear of Erufai, know that we are talking about Kaduna State. And of course, um, the... 423 billion naira theft case and he is now suing the state assembly let's see how that is going to end who is going to smile at the end of the day all right our details read on page seven then the big story has the kicker which says dangote refinery crude supply crisis threatening oil investment operators one federal government i think that again crude supply crisis Threaten oil investments. Operators warn the federal government. And I have just one rider to that story. Federal government urged to deepen investors' confidence. Dangote Ali's fear over refinery fire. Dangote refinery, a part of Dangote refinery, caught fire yesterday. But um, Dangote said it's a minor um, fire outbreak that it wouldn't stop operations. I think that's the good news because a lot of people felt very bad. Someone brought the video to me and I shouted. The first thing I did was uh, just to shout, hey, come on. Is there some form of conspiracy right here? Why? The first time is IOCs not giving crude to Dangote refinery. Then now fire outbreak. So it's suspicious. But then I think the good news is that it's a minor fire outbreak from uh, just a part of the refinery. And they have come out to say it will stop their operations. All right. So finally, from uh, the Punch newspaper this morning, Tinubu backs NDLEA to end drug abuse trafficking. It is read on page 12 of the Punch newspaper. And that's going to be the size. Many other headlines that you can pick the copy of um, the Punch newspaper and go through it yourself. But for the sake of time, let's just uh, stop here for now and move to the next paper. All right, let's take a look at the Nation newspaper this morning. Federal government moves to avert shutdown of varsities. That you can find on page four. We have uh, a rider underneath which says panel raised after Pali. Away from that, all your lawmakers are daggers drawn with speaker. The details of that is on page five. And uh, further information says 17 members form group. Now to the big story on the nation. Uh, banks face tough conditions in recapitalization drive. We'll have a rider underneath that. CBN targets strong banks capable of supporting government's $1 trillion GDP by 2030. Economy attracted, that's the next headline, economy attracted $24 billion foreign exchange inflows in first quarter. And we'll have a rider underneath that. CBN ends from MV 
verification away from that tinubu not discriminating against the north this is coming from the vice president shetima and on page 25 of the nation newspaper national assembly reconvenes today after recess and on page three el rufai sues kaduna assembly that will be the size of the headlines from the nation newspaper over to you michael thank you antonio straight to the daily times newspaper above the head of federal government as to end meeting agree on amicable resolution details on page four Aerofi draws Kaduna State Assembly to court for defamation. Details on page five. War Drug Day, Tinubu rely rally support for drug war. Details on page nine of the Daily Times. We will not gag the press for the government assures. That is still on page four. Talking about the press freedom. Yeah, press freedom. <laughs> I saw this morning when Tinubu was saying he is out to support press freedom. But mm -hmm. in the real essence of it, uh, if you look at what has happened to some journalists. of um, the journalists, mm -hmm. this just this few times, you will know that um, the life of so many uh, journalists are on the line, and that there is a way the press freedom that is not guaranteed the some press kind of kingdom, mm -hmm. uh, the press freedom is not guaranteed, and there is a way it watered the assignment, watered down the assignment mm -hmm. of the journalists because uh, sometimes you will be scared of saying certain things. Absolutely. So if he is coming out to say this and he do exactly what he has said, it's going to be fine. And it's also going to help this economy too. It's yeah. another thing to say and there's another thing to also to do. Yeah, yeah because the press is the watchdog of the society. Yes. You have investigative journalists who go deep into certain issues as mm -hmm. they occur yeah. in the country. And when they come out with these publications, it actually informs the public about mm -hmm. this. But some journalists will be silent when they see their brother, oh, if I say this, they'll come after me, they'll mm -hmm. come after my loved ones, they'll come after. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it now prevents journalists from now practicing as they should. Yeah, that's true. Well, you can find out details on page four, the Daily Times. Away from that, a big story. Drop your arms, embrace dialogue. Chief of Army staff advises agitators and others. Details on page two, one writer to that story says it's only in a peaceful atmosphere that the economy of any country could thrive. Um, away from that, 2023 budget, NAS, sets to extend implementation of capital component. Details on page four, still on page four. And then there's a picture story. Uh, where you see smoke, you know, inflowing to the sky after a fire broke out at section of Dangote refinery located in Ibeju Lake in Lagos. But Dangote has come out to say that's a major fire outbreak. That minor, minor, minor fire yeah. outbreak. Yeah, could you see some something fishy about this? Because <laughs> well, anyone, any any somebody has paid Nigeria. somebody to go and put it, fire somewhere. No, he he said it. we were not quite sure. We are not quite of, sure what's what 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 really fire. happened. But then, but this is someone fighting, may want to think. You that know, some persons some may person. have conspired yeah, but yeah. uh, since Dangote did not tell us the exact, he just gave us the assurance that work will still continue, mm -hmm. everything I is fine I think that's the Bless most important that's, thing that's the most important we are waiting for operations, that's yes. it very important, well, I do well to pick a copy of the Daily Times newspaper today uh, that's the size of the package, back to you Ramsey yes, from the Daily Times, let's get to Daily Trust uh, on Daily Trust this morning, Nigeria borrowed 7.71 trillion naira in Q1 2024, coming from DMO. And uh, this one says uh, six students drawn in Kaduna River after exams. That's on a oh, sad note. Sad. You know, uh, they, they they, go there to celebrate? I don't yeah. see. There is this excitement yeah, after yeah. exams, especially when you yeah. write it well. Yes. And more so if it is a final exam. exam. You know, but and after um, all this celebrity thing that happened without lifeguard. People are still going to swim. Well, see, there are some persons, there Maybe are some, there are some, the water, some, some rivers mm. that people swim, local rivers that people, people rivers, swim yeah. normally. And uh, that, even yeah. in those rivers, there are places that are so deep that mm. they don't allow people to go to. to. So but if you're a stranger, possibly. if you're a stranger, probably you are a stranger and you don't know the deep areas mm. and you just go to celebrate with other people. You can, this kind of thing can happen. Can happen. Well, uh, six of oh them are uh, drawn. I, I pray that um they don't. Uh, I don't know, but they're, then they're drowned. They, they are, are drowned, they're drowned already. They are drowned. Yeah, they are drowned. Meaning maybe they some uh, as it, as the case may be, some of the cops may be found. Some may not be, not be found. found yeah. But that is on a sad it's note. The All right, people. moving away from that, Kenyan president dropped tax hike after a deadly unrest. Then the big story says. Uh, Niger mining pit collapse. That's the kicker. Over 30 still trapped three weeks after. To write us to that story, 
Four mutilated bodies recovered in two days. Second rider says operations done manually. Victims' family are the ones saying that, and details read on page four of the Daily Trust newspaper. Erufai sues the Kaduna Assembly over a 432 billion naira probe report. Okay, uh, you can pick a copy of the Daily uh, Trust newspaper. Then this one says a uh, man mobbed for stealing a pot of rice in FCT Council. I saw this story, and um, I don't know. Um, Stealing on its own is bad. But when last did you hear that people go to steal pot of rice? I'll show you that hunger, hunger pot drove, of rice for hunger crying out loud. Mm. Pot of rice. Pot of shinkafa. That's what we're talking about. Rice, That's to tell you that um, Nigerians are hungry. I pray. I'm just praying that um, what happened in the Bible days doesn't repeat itself in Nigeria. You know, you remember the story uh, of... Um, in the Bible, well, uh, let me not take you there. When people were even going as far as saying, okay, today we kill your child. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it, 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 then tomorrow, you know, I pray we don't get to that. This God will not allow so. us get so, to that. You know these guys that carry bags, um, and, and like, what are they called, that, that pick things? Yes, this um, may something. Yeah, may, okay, that pick uh, yeah, empty that, bottles. Yeah, they pick empty, empty bottles. Yeah, all this babambola them. Refuse Thank you, thing. that babambola. That's what they call. They pick. They picked my neighbor's pot of soup very hot. Oh my god! Put it for the back and they go. Ah, somewhere we, <laughs> so the guy is somewhere eating a barbecue. <laughs> So did he, is it like they picked it from her through your neighbor's window or was she cooking outside As, or something? I saw the guy, he made us late, he said, how about you, Nubu? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. He said, how about you, Nubu? And then when you see the person, you will not even oh know God. if you have to be so angry that person stole your food it's, it's, or you just laugh funny. because of the situation. You know, so so you, you can see that it, it's ah. funny, but then this, is this to is tell a, you that Nigerians are going idea. through so much. Stealing a pot, mm -hmm. this one is a pot of rice. No, he just attested soup. that his own neighbor's pot of soup was stolen from the fire. And mm -hmm. when they caught the person, the person was busy eating a bar with it. And the only thing the person will have to say after being caught is hi, Batinubu. <laughs> well, I don't know. But then the situation is getting out of hand and something needs to be done because um, people are really hungry in this country. And finally, from the Daily Trust newspaper this morning, don't allow tribalism into your affairs. Sultan tells Nigerian army. Okay, that's going to be the size of the headlines from the Daily Trust newspaper paper um let's go on a quick break after this break we're returning back with something big it's the big story and we want to talk about the fact that the chief of army staff is coming out to say embrace peace drop your arms that is not the best way to go with arms so many things will go wrong we will tell you more about that when we return from this break follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke tv Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oweleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back from that break. It's a last number live on your screen, and this is the time for the big story. When we say story is big on at number, you know what we're talking about. It means it is something of interest to you and I. As a matter of fact, the chief of army staff has come out to speak now because in almost all the parts of the country, there are agitations. You see people agitating in the north. You see people in the south. You see people in the west. You see, okay, we are coming out with this uh, vigilante. We, we are coming. We are not satisfied with uh, what the government is doing. Appointments are going this way. Appointment is going the other way. Well, headers are doing this. Nobody is coming to our rescue. We need to take laws into our hands. A lot of things happening. A lot of agitations. A lot of people are not satisfied with so many things and they decide to come up with agitations but then as it is and you know when we talk about agitators you don't agitate just with mouth some persons do it with arms taking loss into their hands mm. we remember what's happening in uh the the uh what they what, what in the east the sit at home thing the okay. enforcement of the sit at home Unknown come men. with some form of violence mm. it's an agitation all right? But then, 
carrying arms. Don't you think that is detriment to our economy and to the lives and property of Nigerians? That particular thing in the East uh, is, is why, is why uh, a particular senator has urged Tinubu to release Namdi Kano that it will, it will stop them. Yeah, but then, are you, are you sure it's going to stop it? Because this mm -hmm. agitation was even on before Namdi Kano was arrested, right? But, because but it got it skyrocketed when he because when he was he's arrested, been kept yeah. oh, oh, non commenting time, started yeah. when, when uh, they sent because there was one video in while, while he was in court that he was saying, "Well, all this thing happening, all this it at home, all this know, violence happening about in the east, he doesn't know about it. Who is doing that nonsense? It's because he's not there. That no, 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 no. his supporters and, and, and his loyalists are the ones that better word from them. him." Can calm them down if they are really loyalists. If it's if it's yeah. from wherever he is, they are getting a word from them. State that right. statement yes. alone, that statement alone, and it's not it's not looking like the federal government is ready to mm -hmm. give, to add to agree with the agitation because those that grievance started at the time of Wazurike before even Namdekanu came to the picture. It started a long time. I think um, I, I think <laughs> so it's, it's a long story. It's a it's a very long the story. The, no, the agitation has been on. Are you not, are you sure it's not since Ojuko's time? Yes, since yes, Ojuko's since time. Since Ojuko's time. And that led to the nineteen yes. sixty seven. Yeah, it's it's been a very it's that been war. a very long time mm. coming. That war was yes. still a was Biafra war. Yes. Before Namdi, uh, so it's been a long time. But so it's, it's very beautiful to see the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Kauri Lagbaja, come out to uh, tell nigerians those that are agitating to actually drop their arms embrace peace because peace is the only way to go That's no it. matter how you That's fight it. and fight and fight you destroy properties at the end of the day if we want a better nigeria well you destroy the property that the little one we have on ground you destroy it then the government will borrow again to raise up another mm -hmm. it will be only shooting ourselves in the foot and at the end of the day after all these fights the war you still come to that round table of negotiation when you say okay what do you want and the people will tell you this is what we want this is what we and the government says, okay, we'll do it. This this is how we are going to you set like a scale of preference, so to say. So this is very this is really commendable coming from him and also encouraging he also in that um uh, event also encouraged the officers and men of the Nigerian army to be disciplined to carry on with their duty with due diligence as they've been doing. So it's a very beautiful one to see. That he's as it calling is, for dialogues there were, and all that. There were things he pointed out that I noticed, thing. Antonia. Yeah. He, he pointed out non payment of salaries. And that's for the, the officers yeah, and, the, and the personnel account, domicile and heritage bank, uh, for those who wanted to do peacekeeping and also lack of promotion. So, this is the foundation of, uh, of um, non commitment in the part of the army because you can't send a soldier to Bauchi. He was in, he's in Bauchi yesterday and he was saying this. You can't send a soldier to troop. To fight insecurity and insurgency. Meanwhile, he's not he's not he's not being paid. His welfare is not taken care of. Sometimes you see soldiers being killed. They don't even have sophisticated weaponry like this terrorists have. So I think the federal government has to do something about when he, he spoke about lack of promotion, no payment, their welfare not being taken care of. For those that are qualified to go to peacekeeping, that they should send him a direct message. Imagine mm -hmm. telling the soldiers to send him a direct message. For him to take it off. I mean, come on, what are you doing? The soldiers that are in, in the war front should be taken care of. Their promotion, their, their allowances, because their they salaries. are sacrificing their lives for yes. the nation. Yes, before Imagine now. Imagine soldiers' salary, and yeah. then you go to the barracks and see their wives and children in hunger. It begging. Yeah. Your 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 husband is out for a peacekeeping mission, and you are back home begging for food. Because That's not fine. I think food. before now, uh, people used to lobby. So mm -hmm. they can go for oppression. Yes. I remember people during people during so Ecomog, yes. you yes. know, during the Ecomog time, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, soldiers who went to Liberia mm -hmm. and came back, they were big. You know, some were given cars, promotion, there was this honor, there is this badge, there is this camouflage, there is this badge, and uniform. it was pride. Yes. It still happens right it now. It still happens. Right you now. see if it on their uniform. Goes to yeah. Apart from the honorarium that comes to you and all that, and the promotion, when, when you go and come back, you're big. You're big. Yes. I mean, big because you're paid in dollars there. Except from if some other corruption happens and they, they have to embezzle your But money why there. can't we implement the same thing for people who are keeping peace in the country? No. At least, even if we can't do exactly what Ecomog is doing, uh, at least uh, Eco, there's money in Ecowas. If we can't do uh, what they do to the Ecomog soldiers, why not at least do something to make these people happy? You're fighting for your country protecting the territorial integrity of your country and then you're not happy doing it 
Probably because you don't have a commensurate weapon to fight the terrors, the terrorists. Or probably mm -hmm. your allowances are not being paid. Well, these things can affect soldiers psychologically. Absolutely, yeah, because you, you understand. Show and it will show non commitment. So but then shout out to those who have committed because I have yeah. friends. Shout out, shout yeah. out, shout I have out. Friends to last week. Yeah. Last week, friends were coming to see me and their military personnel. They were called immediately. They were coming from Duba Barracks. They were coming to for the night, normal night uh, thing that, that they do in federal housing. The way you see them at midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., patrolling, checking checking out okay. for because of the um, insecurity, uh, insecurity and then um, kidnapping. They were called back to Akko Estate. A woman was kidnapped. Oh. So they rushed back. Before they got there, can you imagine that the local vigilantes and police were afraid because of those those kidnappers had substituted weapon as they fired, boom, police ran away. So please, if federal government is listening to this, the army, they've been to the coming last in poverty. Imagine they turned back to go. Sir, they entered the bush. They told me, sir, we're entering the bush to chase them. As police were the ones pointing them to where the, where the, the direction woman they took the woman. And they were afraid. Oh. Imagine what this uh, military business are going through. So if they are old salaries, please. And then for the salary increment, very expedient. That is the motivation because they lose their lives on daily basis for Come security. Come back with injuries that you, you need, you need a lifetime see, from what you're saying. Now, Sometimes why they may not even, it might not even heal for life. This like is you, a personal experience just no, last it's, week. It's yeah, just, just for a minute. You, while you were speaking, something came to my mind. Do you know that there are people in the system who conspire mm. and give information to these terrorists? Mm. And these are the kind of things. Because the way it is, it could be that... The reward they are getting from giving this information mm. is more than what they get being in the system. Oh. And this will create loopholes. You, we've had situations whereby you hear that there are some informants in even the system who give information to these uh, bandits, bandits, you know, and all of that. Yeah. Kidnappers, this person has been arrested because the person was given uh, information, security information mm. and all of that. If these people are not well treated, yes. they may be tempted. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. some persons, even I've seen people write, well, I'm okay. Uh, they, they, they are not up to the age of retirement yet. Mm. But you see some persons retiring before time. Very well. Very well. You I understand? Have many, I have uh, then, one yeah. of my cosmates who has been uh, uh, at, uh, is it my degree for a very long time. Mm. I think a few days, some, some weeks back, okay, I, I saw him write, wrote on the platform that um he has stepped down you understand he's no longer a, 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 i think he is even a naval officer because uh, some of them are left over stay for for the addition special duties, some of them some of duties. them right Man, leaving the soldier they overstay, leaving the military they overstay because they do not have long legs normally you have a duration to stay for special duty yeah. or for special force duty to mean uh those those in major degree those in Katsina, those in Bauchi, special troops. But at the time it elapses, you're just supposed to be called back, maybe back to your office for you to actually take a rest. Some people will overstay. Some will stay five years, ten years, they are in the bush. If as they long die, as the so as it is, situation um, is there consistent. Oh as it is right now, if the chief of army staff is saying the agitators should drop their arms, then there are some loopholes that should also be blocked so that these agitators don't have information from the system. There are some things that need to be done, even to the military who asked to face these agitators. If they need to come to the negotiation table, there are several things that should be considered and how these people can actually be talked to. This is going to be the size of the big story this morning on Not Numbered. We will come on your way again, same time, same station, and that's going to be tomorrow when we bring you the G TGIF edition of Outnumbered. Thank you and have a wonderful and beautiful day. My name is Ramsey Enoch. Bye-bye for now.